In 1877, the nation was in the fourth year of a depression that had seen the economy shrink by a third. When pay cuts by four of the nation's largest railroads went into effect that July, workers in Martinsburg, West Virginia, walked off their jobs at the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad, vowing to shut down the rail yards until their wages were restored. When local police failed to get the trains running, President Hayes sent federal troops to protect the railroad and end the insurrection. But it didn't end. The walkout spread nationwide. Striking workers brought the city of Chicago to a standstill. We are striking not for a few cents, but for principles. And the spirit of liberty, equality, and fraternity so actuates us that we will stay on strike till the last one of our brothers on the other roads receive their rightful pay. The Great Railroad Strike lasted two weeks. When it was over, 100 people had died. Millions of dollars in property had been destroyed. And the nation had been put on notice that something was terribly wrong. It was the first national strike in US history and the first time that the federal government had sent troops to end an internal labor dispute. In the following decades, the nation would be struck by wave after wave of industrial conflicts. Americans watched with alarm as businesses shut down, bombs exploded, and troops fired on citizens. To many, it seemed like the nation was moving towards another civil war.